You ever get that really bad feeling? What's inside the Z box for February 2019? Yes, despite for its rattling, we're going to be opening up and finding out what's inside the Z box mystery box made for geeks for February 2019. Now, maybe, maybe it's a bell. Maybe it's nothing broken. Maybe there's nothing that's shattered inside and is currently ruffling around while this box has been in transit to me. This box has just arrived and we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. And I suspect, call it intuition, I don't know. I suspect that this is going to be a February 2019 box. I've got a good feeling about that. I also got a really bad feeling. But needless to say, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. And if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Z box, the link will be certainly down below. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, just by off chance, uh, if the link isn't down below, you can head on over, just search the Z box. It's as simple as that. Internet can be fun. But uh, you can see that it sort of has been taped all up. I don't even know what's happening here. I can tell you that there's a whole ton of waybills and stickers underneath. But I mean, the rest of the state of the box, if only these boxes could tell their story. What adventures or what hardships would they have said? This one probably would have had quite the mouthful to say to me and just say, oh, you only knew. If you could have seen the horrors that I would have saw, that's probably what this box is thinking. Okay, so there's packing pillows. That's promising. Maybe there isn't anything that's broken inside. Do I want to peek? Uh, okay, all right. First things first, we've got ourselves the Adventure Time plush. That's pretty cool, the BMO. It's a big plushy plush, and it, there's a little draw cord on the top there, so I guess if you wanted to hang it, you certainly could as well. Comes a little tag, and it says Adventure Time plush. And on the other, on the other side, uh, who makes this? PMS International, are we serious? PMS International made this. PMS International. Uh, it is a nice looking plush, all things considered. I mean, everything's kind of been stitched in place. It's a nice, like I said, a nice large size. In some ways, in some ways, actually could have maybe aided in protecting, oh my God, the horrors that we're about to experience. Let's have a look and, this is probably what's broken in here. I reluctantly reach open and, let's see here. Okay, oh, okay, okay. That's not, that's not so bad. What looks to have happened here, okay. It's a Rick and Morty glass stein. I'm all about glass steins, especially ones that aren't broken. It appears to me that the stein had on the front, get swifty Rick and Morty. Now, it looks like it's just a case where whatever glue adhesive, which doesn't seem like there was a whole lot to start off with, was what was keeping this in place. Now, I'm wondering, I don't know what I could use. There's probably like a glass glue that I could pick up and purchase that would allow me to glue that into place. That seems to be the only thing that's broken to it. I'm actually gonna open this up completely just to inspect further. By the way, this comes to us from, I wanted to say it was from, Pal no, it's from GBI, not from Paladone. Okay, so we open it up. There's nothing really different to it than a regular Stein. In fact, you could say it looks like every other Stein that you would probably have in your Stein collection. Minus, of course, this. I don't know why they couldn't have used a stronger adhesive. I mean, again, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like, it seems like this wasn't even glued. This just seems like it's, I guess the glue was probably on this. I don't know. But I'm going to have to see if I can glue that back into place. Because, I mean, once that is in place, it does look very good. Just... I don't know why they didn't use a better glue. At least it's not broken. <laughs> no, no, it's, I shouldn't joke about that. So I'm gonna very carefully put this back in its box because well, certainly the last thing I want to do is for this to break. Sometimes, I don't know, the design and construction of things baffles me. I had a long time ago, I had done or started a review on a bottle opener. It was one of those metal bottle openers and the part that flipped up the bottle, the opener part, was actually attached, I think, by glue to the rest of the metal bottle opener. So you could probably already see what was going to happen. When I opened it, the whole bottom part broke off. And I thought to myself, 
there must be a better way of doing this. I don't know if there was a better way of doing this, but certainly doesn't seem like it's the strongest of adhesive. That's certainly to say the least. Also inside, perhaps aiding in the fact that it wasn't going to be moving around too much, we've got Rocket Board, Acme Looney Tunes Company Rocket Board, hit the ground running, which they've actually crossed out. Um, it's a neat looking t-shirt. Of course, one of my favorite, you know what's always interesting? I say, of course, like you guys know this stuff. I figure you know this as I'm saying it, as it's verbally being spewed out of my mouth. But then I realized maybe you guys don't know this. One of my favorite characters in Looney Tunes was the Wile E. Coyote. So there you go. Now you know. Now, now moving forward, when we have a look at Wile E. Coyote stuff, I'm sure there's going to be a substantial amount of that stuff. When I say, of course you know, maybe the longtime viewers will know. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. And last but certainly not least, contained inside this month's box was a... Uh, we've got an Assassin's Creed notebook got 100 line pages. Ah, this one is from Paladone. Usually these subscription boxes at the very least have one Paladone item and they're generally the cool things. There's nothing really super cool about this other than the fact that you got some internal lining there printed and of course the logo is present on every one, I'm assuming every one of the 100 pages or so. There we go. Yeah, that's not a bad looking book at all. I mean sometimes expectation level doesn't have to always be really high. When you get things like a notebook, what are you expecting a notebook to accomplish? Maybe a really detailed front cover and back cover. And then once it has lined pages, it's basically fulfilling everything that it agreed to fulfill in its contract. I need to provide lined pages and I need to have an interesting front and back cover. Anything above and beyond that, I think your expectation level may be a little higher than what the notebook is willing to provide you. Kind of feel like crap now, don't you? You're very welcome. Let's have a look at all the things that we got inside this box working backwards. We've got the uh, Assassin's Creed notebook, which again, for what it is, I think is pretty good. I want to say my favorite thing from it, maybe it was the t-shirts. I wanted to say this one. Do I still take away points for the fact that the glue wasn't strong enough to keep this in place? I mean, if not for that, I would say that this would be my favorite thing that would, I guess I could just use regular, uh, really strong, uh, like cement, like really strong glue. Um, I'm assuming this is something that you're not probably going to be putting in dishwasher. It says wash before use, but uh, hand wash only. There you go, with warm water. So maybe I can put like a regular adhesive glue on there. Obviously not like a glue stick, you silly gooses. But maybe if I use like a strong adhesive, I could glue that in place. Because it's a nice looking stein. And thank goodness, thank, thank goodness, it wasn't broken, which was my biggest concern. And then last but certainly not least, we got ourselves the Adventure Time plush. Very, very cool. Again, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks, the link will be located down below. Today, quite reluctantly, I have to admit, as you saw from the opener of this review, we were doing an unboxing of the new Z-Box for February 2019. Luckily, nothing was broken. Luckily, nothing was broken, and we can be on our merry little way. Before you be on your merry little way, friends of the village, make sure you as well you hit that little subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already, because then new videos coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. Maybe you may have missed out on the fact that I liked the Wile E. Coyote, or for the fact that I had a little broken plate on the front of this really neat looking stein. You will never further be missing out on anything by hitting that little subscribe button down below and making sure as well you hit that bell notification as well because apparently it works. I'm still on the fence, but apparently it does work. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.